guys, welcome back. So, a little change of pace for us. It is. Uh, we have never, we've never done this before. We've never dabbled into the swing, really, uh, in, in sort of training aid Definitely not. world. Um, but we think this is worthy and, and merits uh, a sort of, you know, sp specific episode on on this particular training aid. I've never seen anything get this much attention through social media or even a little bit on TV yeah. and stuff like that. I've never seen this many tour pros, good players, not good players, mm -hmm. uh, adopt something so fast. I don't think I can think of any training aid that mm -hmm. I've ever seen that's kind of caught on like that. I think there's several reasons for that. Um, but first and foremost, it's, it's a really excellent training aid. Mm. Uh, it's, it's a really interesting Obviously, time as well um, for so the plane mate is what we're talking yep, about. Um, it's a really interesting time because the buzz in golf instruction right now is shallow. That's right. Yeah, ways yeah. too shallow. The sequence that sort of encourages you too shallow. A lot of people will be very familiar with with sort of coaches like George Gankis, mm -hmm. Dana Dalkust, you know, guys like that yes. who, you know, Andrew Rice, uh, can't leave Andrew out, you know, he's talked about this for a long, long time. Mm. And the value of, of shallowing the, the golf club in order to create sort of a proper sort of club face control. Right, right, right. Not having that club face rotating too much, not flipping the hands, pivoting the body correctly, yep. all these sorts of things. So you've had yours now for the best part of a couple of weeks. Yeah, I messed around with it for about a week or so. Um, I probably only really completed the first parts of it, yeah. which are mo mostly short game. Mm -hmm. um, so I spent lots of time on that, which you're supposed to do. You're supposed to really Start. spend time on the short game Start first yep. um, and then move on. So I, I've got a kind of, I think, a good handle on mm -hmm. the basics of it. Yeah. Um, tried that. This is the, the full swing band, band here. Yep. Did yep. a little bit with that. It's not easy. Hard. I'll say that much. Um, but made some swings. I hit a few balls in here with it. It's mm. quite interesting what it does to pretty much every part of my swing, to be honest with you. And uh, what I love that Martin, Chuck, and David Woods have done um, in, in sort of the creation of this is they've, they've set up an improvement platform that comes mm. not only with the product, but it comes with um, the, the sort of protocols. Yeah, the kind is, of there, the is there a DVD that comes with uh, it's it? It's all online. All so you online. basically, yeah, you right. basically Makes just go, go to the website and, yeah. and go, you can get it on your phone, obviously. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's seven days intro, then there's specific stuff on the full swing. Mm. There's a pro band, which is harder. Mm. Um, there's some fitness stuff. And I think they just did the driver protocol. So right. now there's a, a basically a learning piece on how to use it on the driver. Well, I mean, there's, there's several death moves in golf, but one of one of the main ones is is the sort of sequence of you know steeping in the shaft, the yep. upper body dominating the the transition and initiating the start of the downswing. Mm -hmm. I think I think you know the the guys what they're going to do is is they're going to train a you know hopefully a generation of golfers who adopt this product pro, a product to do something entirely different and hopefully earlier on in their development. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. this kind of thing had been earlier on for me, even mm. I think I would. I'm exactly what you're talking about. I tend to steepen, steepen it a little in bit. transition, yeah. kind of stall with my hips. So I think a lot of people will learn, yeah. hopefully, learn the game a little bit faster in that sense and a little bit easier and get the, the club working a bit better. No, okay. Well, why don't we get you to do a few and show us, show us the introductory kind of pieces sure, yeah, of yeah. what you've learned with it so far. Okay, sounds good. So, um, probably the biggest adjustment, I, th I think, versus another training aid is you don't really just kind of dive in and take rips at it with like a six iron. Right. You basically start with the shortest, this is the shortest band. Yeah. You clip it higher, closer to the grip, and you're, you're basically just working on kind of your pitching yeah. shot to begin with and then I think after it must be at least it's probably at least six or seven days of it mm -hmm. then you start to switch bands and get into a longer swing and I think that, that there's a kind of tagline that goes along with the plane mate isn't there the yeah. uh, resist relax rotate yeah um, which makes such sense in, in terms of you know the what you're trying to sort of build is, is some tension then in, in transition you're trying to kind of let the the body lead to the arms follow you know, and that's the relax, and then the, the pivot is what's going to, you know, obviously square everything up rather than having to flip your hands. And it, it does, it explains really the, the sequence so well. And I think it's the opposite of what a lot of people do. It's kind of more like relax and then tons yeah, of tension in the downswing, right? Correct. And no rotation. So this, this will be different for, and it was different for me. I, you, you know, in order to keep the tension on the band going back, it does travel a little bit more away from you than most okay, people. Okay, so, so a bit more width than take away. Definitely, and I think okay. for anyone that lacks width, it's gonna feel way different. It's me for most sure. people do, right? So yeah. out more this way. Okay. And so the first, I think the first day or two is actually really just feeling that tension, 
lose and the tension, rotate. So that's even a little bit further. That's yeah. like day two or three. Okay, so so literally it's just tension, yeah. rotate. Okay. So you kind of the first day you kind of learn how to feel some pivot and kind of placing your follow through properly. Yep. Then you sort of work into just the basic motion of kind of resisting and turning. And then, as you said, then mm. you start to let go of that tension here, yeah. which lets the club kind of shallow, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then you start rotating through. So and that's it, kind of your first three days of work. And when you see, when the, you know, you guys will see this in slow motion, you'll see sort of a couple of things. Uh, if you have a sort of almost an educated eye and you, you've been aware of this stuff and it, you'll really see Matt controlling his hand path so much better as the hand path kind of works in a, a more constant radius. Totally. Um, the, the club face will stay square for much, much longer. You'll see way less sort of flip. Exactly, because it's, I think it's because you're actually, you're driving the rotation of the face with your body. Yeah. Versus me kind of stalling here yeah. and doing this. And you've always felt like that's your nemesis, is, is the stalling, getting too square. To yeah. the, the club head can accelerate past the hands. I think it's always been the main, probably, kind of short circuit mm -hmm. in there somewhere that kind of gets me into trouble. If timing is good, it's sure. probably not a big yeah. deal. Yeah. But I'm not controlling the face through body, body rotation. Mm -hmm. I'm more just kind of hoping I time it well. My hands. Okay, show us a few. Okay. So we're going to start off with a little short shot. So it's basically kind of a waist high to waist high shot is your first few days of work. Okay. I'll, I'll kind of fast forward into what I guess day three is where you start to let it get behind you a bit. So one of the first things I noticed messing around with it was I never feel this mm -hmm. in the follow through where I guess the pelvis kind of gets towards the target. I never feel that. Yeah. And the other thing I really feel is that the kind of contact almost feels late. So I feel like I've turned through and then I hit the ball. Mm -hmm. I always feel hit the ball then turn through. That's what the sequence was for me before. Yeah. And so that dynamic lie is actually quite interesting because that's... It's quite incredible it's how much that's changed. How low that yeah, is. I mean, Trackman yeah. users um, will know that as vertical swing plane. And yeah, I mean, that's, ex that's extremely low um, vertical swing plane the way through there to have the handle that low. Yeah. The dynamic lie angle that, ha that much up. The one thing I notice is that every time you've pitched one today, you've... Your ball hasn't left that middle dark stripe. Yeah, the, the direction is really quite it's good. Quite, isn't it? I mean, I know we're, we're kind of using a, we're only using a little 75 yard shot as an example so far, but it's, you know, the face control is very interesting. It's quite amazing. Yeah. I think you'll, you'll, and I've experienced this too, you'll see when you strap it on, you'll, you'll maybe hit some scuffy yeah. ones. They don't really think um, that first few times your contact, I don't think you should really focus on it. In fact, I think you're supposed to use a bit of a T. Sure. Uh, if, you, if it makes you more comfortable. Yep. But the motion alone, you really start to kind of resequence that kind of first little motion. That sounds so nice. Yeah, it really feels clean. I don't feel as much need to kind of make the face square. It just kind of seems to get there on its own. I'll do one more. I'll try to exaggerate a little bit more. The key is when you get here, you've got the resistance. The key is to have enough time because as soon as I relax, it really moves. Mm -hmm. So as long as you give it enough time, you get this motion automatically. Right. Love it. And that tends to, that. to me, it tends to make you turn more at that point. Do me a favor, okay. Um, take that off now and okay. do a couple of free yeah, reps. Yeah, yeah. Same thing because I'm really... I'm watching something that is very interesting to me that I don't normally see from, from any players when they're hitting that type of shot. I think the most kind of fun experience after you've used it is the kind of the ghost hands, as I call them. Mm -hmm. You really actually feel, feel and I don't like think you're still good on. There's really, really no way to explain it until you felt it, but mm -hmm. you actually feel like your hands are sort of on autopilot in certain yeah. positions because you've, you've in the stretch of 20 swings, yeah. or 30 swings, sorry, that you do at a time, you actually feel that kind of resistance enough that it puts mm. your hands there when the, when the club comes off. Very cool. What did those two feel like? Do they feel like you, you maybe just not quite pivoting hard enough? I think so. So the, uh, the motion feels okay, but I'm catching a little kind of toe-ish turf, so I suspect that Either it's not getting shallowed as well, or maybe I'm not turning yeah. as well. 
I'll try to exaggerate it a bit more. Better. Better, yeah. And guys, what I'm really watching sort of are these, this little kind of set of numbers, not really looking at the launch and spinning, that's it. so I'm more looking at delivery, angle of attack, path, face to path, how well we're controlling loft, dynamic lie angle. So, oh, okay. you know, once we, once we go into, to look at a few, um, from a comparison standpoint, let's see where we're at. Huh. Yeah, already seeing a bit of a difference there. This was it for me. That you're steeper and sort of starting to kind of almost get less less shallow. You know, you're, you're yeah, being, yeah, right. So just little subtle differences, um, and obviously starting to kind of see the the delivery change a little bit. Now, at the end of the day, would you would you take that scenario of path and face to path? And yeah. As a big improvement you already, would. you would you for absolutely sure. Absolutely would. Yeah. Okay, so a few more. That felt more like some of the ones I hit with the thing on there. That was really nice. So these are just these are the war the starter shots. You're just really controlling your motion. So there, that's more like where you were with the plane mate on. Yeah, and I think From the difference there is getting the time allowing the time for this to occur. Yeah. Whereas the first few I hit, I think I just kind of yeah. snatched it a bit. Okay. It, it looked a bit like that, to be honest, Matty. Yeah. It did, yeah. It does, yeah, yeah, for sure. Very cool. Okay. I think you need to uh, strap it on, no? Let's, let's do uh, it. Let's give her a run. All right. Good. Okay, Matty boy, All so right. you got me set up a little pitch and wedge. How's that feel, your first couple practice swings with it? It's very interesting. Yeah. I mean, I, it's funny, just I'm, I'm kind of making a bunch of rehearsals, you know, on, on this takeaway, trying to create that stretch, because something I don't really get, like, you know, for people who have seen my swing enough, they'll see it kind of gets, my right arm gets a little short, gets behind me, you know, the wrist structure's not great. So it's interesting having that feedback for that initial sort of stretch. Yeah, it's different, right? Yeah, definitely. It, it kind of keeps my right arm much, much longer. I'm really curious as to when we get sort of that way, relax, pivot, you know, what that starts to look like from yeah, a shape standpoint. Absolutely. All right, well, let's get you hitting your first couple okay. shots with it. That looked good. Okay, so four nine into out, so quite, quite interesting, quite shallow on that one. Your transition looks quite a bit different. Does it? It really does, yeah. 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 You can kind of see, I mean, the, the tempo of your swing is always good. I think you always have a bit of a pause. Yeah. But your first motion, I think generally you get, you would probably feel your left shoulder sometimes get that way. That way. That looks very 100%. different. It actually looks more like this now. Kind of like you're, you're maintaining like that. That's something I was trying to kind of, you know, I'd love to have is a bit more that. Yeah. Or do it down the line so people can see, but a bit more that, that yeah. to the, to the uh, swing rather than getting sort of there. Exactly. Now, I tend to get a little bit that way. Much rather sort of be there, then the kind of pivot occurs, yeah. you know, and sort of getting much more sort of that way with it. And I think that's the point of it is that once it's been shallowed, you must rotate mm -hmm. to square it up. Mm -hmm. If you were to shallow it and then kind of just whip your arms through, you'd hit yeah. everything way right. Right. So that one was interesting, Matty, because I, I got the, the green band got touching okay. the back of my right hand earlier there. So there was a little bit more of that yep. and not quite enough of, you know, that's an exaggerated version, but there wasn't enough me. pivot to control the club face for me on that one. Although, I, I mean, it was, you know, if you looked at the shot, you wouldn't really realize it, but no. it got a little bit steeper for sure. That was quite a bit steeper than the first couple. I found that the thought of keeping, um, just keeping separation between my body and the grip, so yeah. obviously keeping the band stretched away from me. Yeah. I think that automatically made me feel like I was rotating Rotate more. Rotate more. 
So stretch. Yeah, and then you're gonna relax it. Stretch, relax, pivot. There you go. So that, actually see how much more the handle came yeah. to your left. I mean, that's me kind of exaggerating a little bit of how yeah. much, how late it is, but that one felt really it, nice. Your transition looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. I mean, if you really let that band go, I mean, it will, it will pull that path inside, which obviously isn't absolutely ideal, but that is then your job to pivot harder to then kind of um, sort of change the, the path of the sweet spot yep. leading into the, to the ball. Yeah, I think that, that part of it will, will force you to turn more and get, get yourself more rotated through it. There you go, that looks good. Yeah, so it's sort of low and left with the handle for you. That pulls the band away from you. Yeah, that looks really good. That looked quite kind of really rotated through this way. Okay, pop it off and hit a couple without it now. Yeah, definitely. It feels really yeah, odd, the that, first couple. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. You feel your arms floating up 100%. in the backswing? It felt very, very different. That was good. Felt nice. We were both saying earlier on, we each individually feel like we have horrendous control of this shot. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a horrendous pitcher of the ball from this sort of distance. I it's feel hit, like- It's a hit and hope for me too. Absolutely, yeah. like I always feel like I hit that little one that, that kind of bleeds low and it kind of hit it a and bit toy. it goes toy. right, yeah? It's just yeah. a little, it's just a crap shot. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, dude, really I Really totally. bad. I'm gonna take, here, let me take a, a video for you to see just while you're doing it. Okay. Looks really good. Yeah, contact feels nice. Yeah, it's like you're striking it well. Well, this is slowed down a little bit for mm -hmm. you. Now that's nice there. You see what I mean? You've got yeah. a little bit of whoop. Yeah. Nice little like shot. I normally do the complete opposite to that. And you've turned. I mean, for that length of shot, look how much you've rotated. Yeah. What I find is that. Like notice how your lower body is actually following mm -hmm, the rotation mm -hmm. of the club. It's not getting out of sequence with it. You see your exit is quite yeah, a bit more yeah. left too. Crazy though. It right? like looks a lot. That looks a looks lot good. better already, and I kind of feel like you hit like five shots. Yeah, it just looks hit a couple. Already. Huh. Really interesting, eh? Your your footwork looks quite good too. You look very sort of like you've just rotated off your right foot a little bit. That's nice, bud. Interesting. It's really, really funny how you it really pulls your arms into that. Yeah. You feel it really just pulls your that arms into that exit. location. It's pretty well, interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, I think um, we were both attracted to it because we both feel like you know we're ideal people for for the the kind of the use of the training. One hundred percent. And being having not great uh, face control, we don't pivot quite hard enough. Everything that, that that helps you with. Yeah. Um, so it'll be, it'll be really interesting to see how this translates into full swings. I agree. Yeah. I think that would be the next thing we do. We can put this is the uh, this is the full swing band. So it's got a little so bit it's more. Just a bit longer. And it goes at the it goes lower down. Yeah. Closer to the balance point of the shaft. Mm -hmm. um, it becomes quite a bit more work. But it's interesting because it starts to really it doesn't let you cheat in yeah. the follow through. So when you felt a little bit like you may have flipped, mm. if you make a full swing, it kind of like tangles underneath of oh, you. So okay. it really forces you. When we were at Titleist, remember I was telling you how I was trying yeah. to really feel a different location for like the exit of my swing? Yeah. You'd be amazed how quickly that kind wow. of picks up. So um, next time we'll have to do that. We'll sure. do the full swings, yeah. We'll yeah. do a little follow-up uh, to this. Um, I think it's just going to be so <laughs> interesting. I can, I can literally visualize driving ranges lined up with I people with this on kind of I this know. coming winter. And, um, I have to say, I've been, I was joking with you, I've been hesitant to like go outside with it yeah, yeah. for fear of looking like <laughs> a tool. But in the end, I honestly think it's, it's going to make yeah. so much difference. And when you make like 10 yeah. swings with it, like you just did, you're like, well, imagine if I spent an hour no, with it. Imagine no. if I did it every day kind of thing. So yeah. um, I'm definitely going to bite the bullet and take it outdoors with me. Just, yeah, do some reps. And obviously we're coming into 
We're six weeks away from winter and season. That's exactly, and we'll have so much time kind of in here yeah. where we can both work on it. Um, but it'll be, I'll be pretty interested to see. The, the, the numbers, the first time I saw numbers mm-hmm. where the dynamic lie came uh, so much more toe up um, on those first, yeah. more so obviously when it was attached for me, but um, on a pitch shot, I'm very guilty of getting toe down. Yeah. I, can, I can usually keep a full swing pretty flush, mm-hmm. but I really get this yeah. way. So, I mean, it's some good validation early. We, yeah. we, can, we can go further. We can attach it to uh, a little Gears episode and see what's going on. That's that. going to be good. Yeah, because really that, that, there's, no, there's no better way to see exactly mm-hmm. what's changing. Yeah. That would be so good. We can basically just make some swings and then do a protocol of, let's say, 30 shots mm-hmm. and do it again and see what yeah, changes. I'd lo- love to see both of us do sort of pitching full nine iron full six iron and then over the winter we can get to the driver yeah, get like to a the couple g- months and we can do the driver it'll take Once some time eh? you got to do the training um in order yeah i'm told i don't want to uh skip ahead martin says don't skip ahead which yeah. is fair it makes honestly it makes sense because if you mm-hmm. start even what what you did it kind of feels like okay i've hit enough pitch shots yeah but you'd be amazed how much it then transfers into your full swing it's cool i'm excited about this yeah, this, will, this will be cool this will be very really cool so let us know if uh, guys if, if either, any of you have tried it we we just done a little Instagram story and, and actually probably just said four or five people immediately send me a, a message saying I have one. Oh, yeah? I absolutely love it. That's cool. Uh, game changer. I've never been able to find these positions before. So yep. um, I think that's a, already validation for, for how uh, amazing of a training yeah, it is. I agree. No, I, I think go. it's very promising for sure. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay, stay tuned. We will be charting our own progress. Let us know how your progress is, is doing. Um, take a bunch of Instagram videos if you if you do have one and tag us in it tag Martin and yeah, David, Woods. David Woods in it too yeah. all uh, all the boys I know they love the, the feedback they feel like it's a bit of a movement I think um, it is. Oh, which is which is great definitely is a movement yeah no question awesome okay guys stay tuned uh, for the progress and we'll see you again soon